Lane Community College board member recently convicted of sex abuse is still on the ballot for this month's election. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Renee McCullough. And I'm Matt Templeman on KZI 9 News at 4 o'clock. We told you this may be an issue of bad timing, but as KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn shows us in our top story tonight, some think he did nothing wrong. Voters are used to seeing familiar names on the ballots, but there's one name you may remember for all the wrong reasons. Philip Carrasco, who's running for Lane Community College Board of Directors Zone 5, will be sentenced for a misdemeanor charge of third-degree sexual abuse next week. Court documents state it was this month last year when Carrasco, an LCC board member, was arrested after he allegedly inappropriately touched a girl under the age of 18. He was found guilty by a jury in April, and he quit the LCC board. Carrasco is currently the executive director of Glad Lane County, a nonprofit group that aims to give a voice to underrepresented minorities. Their offices are right behind me here, and one of the board members tells me that she believes he's innocent. Raquel Hecht, an immigration attorney who was on the board of the nonprofit, was too busy to do an on-camera interview, but tells me she believes that Carrasco was unlawfully accused and has no problem with him still being their executive director. These documents filed in February with Lane County Elections show that Carrasco planned to keep his seat with LCC. But according to the county clerk, candidates have until late March to remove their names from the ballot. So if Carrasco changed his mind about running after he was found guilty and quit the board, it was too late to get his name off the ballot. Officials at LCC tell me they don't comment on board races, but will be discussing the vacancy he left behind before the election. Carrasco's attorney told me her client has no comment. Carrasco is running unopposed, but a riding candidate could win if they get more votes. Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News. A man accused.